chicken. Literally, this is a chicken and it is a noun. If a person is a chicken, he or she is not brave. A chicken is someone who is scared. Example, Tim, let's climb onto the tree. And I don't want to. Then Tim, come on you chicken. To chicken out, this is a phrasal verb. And this means to not do something because you are too scared. For example, my classmates chickened out to raise their hands in class. Another one, Joe didn't join in the trick. He chickened out. The elephant in the room. This means the problem that nobody wants to discuss. It is the subject on conversation that everybody is avoiding. The elephant in the room. Tears. This is an expression which means tears that you cry when you are not really sad or sorry. It is a false and insincere display of emotion. Example, Helen cried crocodile tears when she divorced her abusive husband straight from the horse's mouth. This means information that has come directly from the source. Example, I got it straight from the horse's mouth that there is a big concert in town. Another one, I heard it straight from the horse's mouth that Mike will be promoted as manager. Hold your horses. When we say, hold your horses to someone, we are telling them to slow down. We are telling them to wait and to be patient. Example, the policeman told everyone to hold their horses while the investigation is going on. Another one, my brother keeps pressuring me to help him finish his project and I had to tell him to hold his Doggy horses. bag. In a restaurant, if you don't finish your food, they will put it in a doggy bag for you. This is very common in America. A friendly waitress gave us a doggy bag for our leftover food. Don and Carl couldn't finish the food they order at the restaurant and they asked for a doggy Top bag. Top dog. Top dog is a person with a high position of authority or status. Example, Keith is young, but he's already a top dog in office. Another one, Roger Federer is top dog in tennis. What is a phrasal verb? A combination of a verb and an adverb, a verb and a preposition, and a verb with an adverb and a preposition. Structure of idioms. The expression, to sit on the fence, cannot become to sit on a fence or to sit on the fences. Most idioms are unique and fixed in their grammatical structure. Write words about numbers. Label the pictures using the words inside the box. A, 25, B, 6, C, 18, D, 2, and E, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number 1, answer is letter B, 6. Number two, answer is letter A, 25. Number three, answer is letter D, 2. Number four, 10. Answer is letter E, 10. And number five, we have 18. Answer is letter C. Five words about winter. Label the pictures using the words inside the box. A. Scarf B. Snow C. Boots D. Sled
and he is no one. You have five items. One, two, three, four, and five. Number one, answer is letter A is a scarf. Number two, answer is letter E is a snowman. Number three is a sled. Letter D. Number four is a boots. It's letter C. And number five is a snowman. Letter write words about fall. Label the pictures using the words inside the box. A. Thanksgiving. B. Pumpkin. C. Apple. D. Football. Leaf. One, two, three, four, five. Number one is answer. It's letter A. Thanksgiving. Number two is apple. Answer is letter C. Apple. Number three. It's A. It's a leaf, letter E. And number five, it's a pumpkin, letter B. Write words about summer. Label the pictures using the words inside the box. A, sun, B, vacation, C, pool, D, hat, E, beach. One, Letter D. Number three is a sun. Letter A. Number four is a pool. Letter C. And number five is a beach. Letter E.